Okay, um, I think we'd agree that most churches are Trinitarians. Am I right? I think most churches you go to would tell you that Messiah is God. Okay. Now, shouldn't we base our church on Scripture? Let's go to Paul here in First um, Corinthians chapter eight. First Corinthians eight and verse five. Paul says, "For though there be," it's King James version. For though there be that are called gods, small g, whether in heaven or in earth, interesting, as there be gods many and lords many, but to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things and we in him and one Lord Jesus Christ by whom are all things and we by him let's sort of chew these verses a little bit you know let's go back over this although there are many gods in heaven and earth called by men there's to us one God the Father you see, Paul was a Jew, raised on the Shema, Shema Israel, Yahuwah Eloni Yahuwah Echad, Deuteronomy 6 verse 4, which the Messiah quoted in Mark 12, 29 and 30. To us as one God. You see, you can be called God if you represent God. Moses was called God to Pharaoh. It doesn't mean you're God. In fact, in one translation, the Messiah is called the representative of God. It doesn't mean you're God. You speak for God. So you can call, you can actually call Messiah God in the sense that he represents God. But he's not God the Father. If you look at 1 Corinthians 15, which my beloved brother Sean brought out recently hi Sean next the end when the last enemy death has been done away with the son will hand back the kingdom to the father so simple that God the father may be all things to everyone like job done Dan job done job done father what I'm talking about here job done father Back to you now, Dad. Job done. All glory to you. The Messiah never glorified himself. He gave all praise to his Father. And this stupid pseudo stuff about him being God, the Father, assassinates his character and his achievements. You don't know Messiah. If you're a Trinitarian, you do not know the Messiah. You don't. You don't appreciate that a man raised from Adam defeated the devil. You say, well, no, it couldn't be a man. It had to be God who came down to do that. Sad. 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 The last Adam, man, now glorified. Look at Daniel 7. Someone like a son of man, with the appearance of a son of man, was brought to the presence of Yahuwah, the Father, the Ancient of Days, and to him was given kingdom. We can't imagine that this transposition, this resurrection to the presence of his father we'd never he'd never seen him in his glory his father 
Wow, coronation, coronation. This glorified man is coming back to this earth. Amazing. Do you know the Messiah? If you call him God, you don't. 